Hi everybody, this is Maria Clark and welcome to my studio. Today's project is to make these super cute polymer clay fairy door earrings. This is part of the hashtag CAC Fantasy Art collaboration. Just uh, put in that hashtag in your YouTube search bar and you will see all of the videos produced by the artists in the CAC group. So the legend is that these little fairy doors are portals to the fairy world and if you believe you're able to open those doors and enter their special world. I hope you enjoy this project. Once you get the shape down for these earrings, you can embellish them in any way you'd like. Here's some with some little heart windows and blue flowers, and then here's some that are a little bit plainer with some lavender flowers, and you can just make all sorts of designs and little dangles. The materials that we'll use for this project is a variety of clay. We've got a base of brown clay, some cutters, um, I've got two sizes of round cutters, and these are hard to see, but it's a little heart cutter and a little flower cutter. Those are five sixteenths. And then tools, um, a blade, craft knife, a um, little embossing uh, tool, some uh, jewelry pliers, and jewelry findings. And then I've got these little beads that are um, kind of sparkly and sort of a cracked marble type bead. bead. The first thing we're going to do is make the fairy door, and I'm just using the blunt end of my blade to put in some um, uh, little uh, grooves here that represent um, pieces of wood, and then I'll just score them with my tool so I get a nice wood look. I've got an old dried out sponge that I'm using to texture the back, and I'll go ahead and cut these, and I'll make a smaller circle, and then for the back, I'll use a slightly larger circle. You can find the sizes in the description below. And I'll put the textured side on a piece of cardstock. It'll be easier to transport these to the oven once if, if you've got them on a piece of cardstock. So put the larger circle down with the textured side down because that'll be the back of our earrings. And then we'll put the smaller little door, the little wood grain uh, circle on top of the larger one not in the center, a little bit towards the bottom, so it's not exactly in the center. And then what I'll do is I'll take my uh, blade and I'm going to cut off a, the bottom so I get a little door shape. And there you go. You see how I just cut the bottom of that off? And um, now I'm going to put my eye pin in. So I've got an eye pin and I'll just center that on the back. And I'll place the uh, door, the top door piece, on top of that eye pin to secure it in. And then just press that down, that clay together, so that it makes really good contact. Make sure you don't have any air bubbles. And then I've got some tan ecru. This is actually an ecru color. And I'm rolling out uh, a thin snake, and I'm going to place it around the door. And what I'm going to do with this is texture it, and then uh, it's going to simulate those, a look of stone. So I'll go ahead and place that around the frame of the door, and I'll do that on each one of these little earrings. And then I will just take my craft knife and cut off any excess. And I'll go ahead and clean up both of those edges. And I'm going to um, just kind of press that down. And then I'm going to use that old sponge that I've got, that dried out sponge. And it makes a perfect texture to simulate stone. So I'll go ahead all around the frame. You know, you need to look around your house and see what kind of tools you might have to make textures. There's so many, so much variety. If you just kind of, oh, you know, use your eyes to say, oh, that would make a cool texture. And then I've got my needle tool, and I'm just making little stones. So I'm just impressing that clay uh, every, uh, you know, uh, fraction of the inch there to make sure I've got a little stone look. And then I'm taking the needle tool and... Um, going around the edge just to give it a little sort of indent there and it really does kind of simulate stone. 
So I'll go around the whole outside of those earrings and now I'm going to start to embellish this. I've got this little star cutter and I'm just going to roll, take that piece and roll it up and these are going to form the knobs. I'll place the knobs on there first because that gives me an orientation for everything else that's going to, um, that I'm going to put on top of these little doors. And once you get those, you, you want to make sure that the, the knobs are um, facing inward and towards each other. You see how that looks. And then I've got my little heart cutter. It's the same size as the star shape. But this is a little heart cutter and I'm going to make little heart windows. And I'll get four of those hearts and I'll place those on the door. And once I get those placed, I'll press them down and I'll use my needle tool to put the little window frame in each one of these little heart windows. Okay, I've got my windows and now it's time to place some of the little grasses and vines. So I'm taking some of this green clay and I'm just cutting very thin strips. I'm not bothering with the extruder this time because really it's, it's not enough to make it worthwhile to pull that out. So I'm just going to use my blade to cut off very thin strips. These little strips of clay that I'm using for the color, for the color embellishments are rolled out to the uh, number four setting on my pasta machine. So I'll take that green clay and I'll just roll a thin snake and I'm going to start creating a little bit of grass and stalk for some flowers that are going to be in the garden in front of the door. And I'm just putting a few little pieces of little stems and little grasses. And you can see how I'm just mirroring um, as closely as I can each one of these little doors because they are, you know, going to hang as earrings. And then I'll use my craft knife to clean up any excess. Just cut away those little excess pieces. I'm going to take another strand of the green and I'm going to start to form a vine around the, the stone that um, is around the door and I'm just kind of curving that snake around to simulate a vine that would hang over a door and you can just sort of lightly place it until you get the, um, the shape that you're looking that you'd like on that vine and I'm going to keep moving that around the door frame and then I'll just curl the end and cut off any of the excess clay. And I'll do exactly the same thing on the other side just as closely as I can. It won't be necessarily perfect but you can see I've got my grasses and my stems of the garden and then I've got my vine around the um, door frame. And I'm going to take a little bit of this deep purple clay and just use one of my small cutters to cut out some little shapes. I'm going to roll those up and these are going to simulate some flowers in the garden. They might be tulips or something like that but you can see I'm just cutting a little piece and rolling it into a, a little ball and just put a few of those for little flowers in the garden. And the sweet, I think this is a really sweet project. These earrings are so cute. They're really inviting for our little fairies. So go ahead and, and continue to place your, your flowers.
Okay, that, those look really cute. Now I've got this blue color and I'm cutting out little star shapes. And you know, if you don't have these cutters, don't worry about it. Just cut out some little circles or um, just cut out, um, make a little round ball and place them and you can simulate flowers easily enough. Uh, I happen to have these cutters and I just love them. So go ahead and cut out uh, your little flower shapes. And I'm placing about five of those flowers just around the vine, around that door frame. You could use any colors that you wanted, any colors that are bright and cheerful to you. I think it would just look fantastic with whatever colors you wanted to use. And this takes such a little bit of clay to create these really cute earrings. So I've got these flowers placed all around the door frame. And I'm going to take my embossing tool and just put a little center in each one of those flowers. Part of the reason I'm doing this is because we are going to antique these at the end to really highlight uh, the stonework and the, door, the frames of the windows. You don't have to take that step. You could, you could um, not. You could decide just to leave them um, as they are and not put any antiquing on. They would just be. They would be just as cute. So now we get that in the oven for 60 minutes. Be sure to tent it. And here they are out of the oven. They look really good. So what we're going to do is take some of this acrylic folk art paint. This is maple syrup, just a brown color. You could use any kind of brown paint that you have. And we're going to use a stiff brush to really get those in the grooves. And then I'm going to take a damp paper towel and just wipe it off. And there we go. Don't those look cute? And you see how that paint really highlights the texture that we put in. Now I've got a few little, uh, these little cracked beads that are um, purple and blue. And I'm going to form the little dangles. I'm just using my pliers to make a loop. And then I'll break the neck of that loop. And then I'll also form a loop from the eye pin that we put uh, through the center of the fairy door. And once I have my loops formed, I'm ready to start assembling these earrings. So I'll place the dangle. And you could use anything for this dangle, any color beads, or you could make polymer clay beans even. That would be really cute. These happen to complement the, the door really well. And then I just have some earring wire, ear wires. And I will put the door on the ear wire. And there we go. Do that for the other side and it's as simple as that. And you have the cutest pair of fairy door earrings. And you can see that I've got another one where I just use lavender. You could use all kinds of colors. I want to thank you all for joining me in my studio. Please consider subscribing, giving me a thumbs up, or leaving me a comment. I enjoy hearing from you. Please also check out the hashtag CAC Fantasy Art. Uh, and you will find all kinds of videos from the artists in the Creative Arts Collaboration Group. I want to thank you again for joining me in my studio. Take care.